to convert digital audio to analog audio. Okay. So when you uh, when you buy the well, this the one that we bought is called a Ventry um, converter. So what you do, it comes with uh, obviously a, a a power cord, and it uh, comes with a socket as well if you like to w use with a USB charge and power, as well as the optical cable, and then your usual um, analog audio cable. So what you do is first obviously um, connect your um, optical cable at the back of your TV and also in this case I did not use the, the power bar. What I did use is actually the uh, USB at the back of the TV to power the, um, the converter. So um, take the optical cable and just simply plug it in at the back of the converter. But you have to make sure that usually when you get the optical, it comes with these yellow um, caps on the top. So remove those just to make sure that uh, you don't put them in there because otherwise they're going to be stuck in the, uh, in the outlet. So you take the optical uh, cable and you put it on the outlet like so. With this clips on and do the same thing at the back of the TV. So once you do that, you put, on, put in the power cord just like so. So this is a USB power cord at the back. Um, you put that in there, and you will notice that it clicks. The power comes on, and once you do that, you, you take your analog uh, audio outlets, uh, and then you insert it into the um, audio um, output so that it goes into your speaker. In this case, I'm using Bose um, speaker. Um, so you put that in there. Once you do. Now it should work. Um, just one point, make sure that on your TV, you switch your audio. Um, it does not, uh, this particular device does not support the, um, uh, does not support um, uh, Adobe. So you have to use other um, uh, formats. Just follow your instructions. So can you play the music, see if it uh, works? Try it. 